what's left is right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through Welcome back, everybody. Chad from the Right Line. I've got Mrs. Right Line with me and the Mini Line with me back there. Hello. And we are out in the Florence area here in Arizona. We're going to go check out a, a nice trail, some scenic stuff to go check out. A little bit of a hiking trail today. We're going to go check out uh, Martinez Cabin and mine. Stay tuned. Right now we're on Box Canyon Road and um, I don't know that a lot of people know that Box Canyon Road extends to the north as far as we are on it right now. We're about to about to drop down into the wash here, and there's some pretty cool trails out here to go uh, exploring on. Uh, we've got seven in our group, and it's uh, New Year's Eve weekend. Let's see how much fun we can get into today. There's seven of us in our group today as we uh, travel out here to get to this trailhead. This gate was constructed a number of years ago to keep people from traveling past this point. No motorized vehicles are allowed past this point, but it is cleared for foot traffic. So we just ended the motorized section of the trail and we're headed onto the footpath part, which goes down to the Martinez cabin and mine. This used to be a motorized route, uh, but down below there, there's a riparian area and they closed it so you can no longer drive back here. But years ago, we would off-road all the way back to the mine and it's a really, really tough trail. There's lots of obstacles. We'll kind of show them to you as we get there, but it's open to foot traffic now. So you can go back there and check it out. And periodically I get to run into somebody who recognizes me from my videos. The right line. The right line. Wow. Cool, man. Yeah. There is a cabin down here, which you're going to see in a minute. And when you go further up the canyon, you'll come up to the uh, mine itself and the processing area. And it's really cool to see. It's come. It's fun to come out here. But if you do take the day to drive out here, hike all the way down here, and come down here to see these places. Uh, just remember, take only photos, leave only footprints, um, leave no trace, remember tread lightly. Oh, a nice cave there. And uh, just remember to kind of respect these areas out here because if we don't, then we're not gonna have them for our kids and grandkids to come check out. And these places are really cool. Kenny, your shock absorber is working overtime. Yeah, right. <laughs> we got one on one side, so it's kind of lopsided. You're a little bouncy. Yeah. I thought you're, I was gonna say maybe your middle uh, middle yeah, name was Eileen. Right there. Oh, there it is right there. Yeah. <laughs> two shock absorbers. Hey, wait a minute. You two aren't related, are you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Married. Married. <laughs> Last time we came in here, we took Jim's mom here. Oh, that's right. We hiked in here. That's right. Mm -hmm. I remember that. I've got video of that on my channel. I'm going to say that's about five years ago now. Yeah, probably so. Isn't that nice? It's gorgeous in here. Oh, that was deeper hole than I thought. The original two-wheel drive in full effect. <laughs> Almost down the floor. Right? Oh, yeah. Watch your stuff, man. There's water through here a lot. You're going to crisscross it a few times. That's okay. She's got a Jeep on her other calf. Right? Just start with the lead foot. <laughs> yeah. Start with that foot. Yeah, just like he said. Uh, water, water trap, I bet you. 
Look at the way the tree leans on the rock. Wild. Hi, Mrs. Rightline. Hi, Mr. Rightline. Oh yeah, here's that big cave. Yeah, it's a room, I just don't know what's in it. <laughs> hey there. Hey, hey, hey. I think it's just dead end. My lights too. I got you covered. <laughs> right. Wait for something to run out. Yeah, you never know. Pretty wild, right? Beautiful in here. The well, last time we came back here, there's a tree that's leaning against the cabin. And it was real close to the wall that it was leaning against and we were thinking that it might knock the wall over. So it's probably been 10 years or so since we've been back here, 12. It'll be interesting to see if the cabin is still standing. If I was ever lost out here and you were my only hope of rescue, I'd be completely screwed because You'd, you'd have no way, you'd, you'd have no way of knowing how to get to where I got lost. Oh, gone. Gone. Well, the main cabin's over there. Right, but the wall is... That was like a, like a bunkhouse or something. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh, man. Oh, wow. That's quite a bit different than we saw it last. I'll see if I can go back and find video of the last time we were here and put it in right here. Yeah. Talk to my friends Ben the last time he was here. He said it had come down all the way. Wow. That was earlier this year. Gotcha. Amazing to think that they used to come back here to mine this area.
Yeah. Leave my water right there so I can come back and get it. There's, I see the mine processing thing over there. 200 yards. Ish. And check out that rock right up there. There. It's kind of reverse triangular shape, leaning against another one. That's wild. Amazing. This is just one of those areas you don't frequently come back to. Oh yeah, so here, this is where the trail gets tough. There and right there. So both of these areas here and here were both part of the rock crawl, <clears throat> part of the trail to get back here. Um, this was kind of arguably the easier of the two. I drove my YJ through there years ago. And then over here was a little tighter and the rocks were bigger. Oh look, there's a staircase right here for us, dear. See, look at that. There we go. You could try to crawl over that. Or we tried going around this. pivot around that rock and then off you went. There's a picture in like the first edition of the Wells Guide of a TJ parked under the bridge right here. A Jeep TJ Wrangler. CJ, TJ, TJ. Nope. No thanks. Sometimes it's nice just to stop and listen. Are you going to land it right here? Yeah. 
They're pretty cool. That's one way to lose a finger. I didn't lose a finger. I'm not going to lose a finger. Joe, I didn't lose a finger. I know. We're stopped right here for everybody to get caught up after we saw those big horn sheep. How many big horn sheep do you see in this picture? We're gonna head down through Box Canyon here in just a couple minutes. everybody thanks for watching this has been an awesome day out on the trail Martinez is always fun to go walk back to get a little bit of a hike on if you like what you saw please consider a like comment or a share leave a comment and we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching